Welcome back to the broadcast. If you've ever been to Vegas and haven't seen the Beatles tribute show, Rain, you are definitely missing out. That show is now on tour, and Doug Cox, the man behind Ringo Starr, is joining us now. We are so glad you're here, and we are proud that you were a local boy and graduated from Brian Adams. What year? <laughs> uh, 1980. When did you guys get together and start forming Rain? Well, I've been in the show for four, uh, four years come March. The show's been around since the late 70s. They were Has literally it? the first uh, Beatles tribute act. Other than the, the, Beatle, the uh, Broadway show, Beatlemania, <laughs> the main characters in the, uh, in the group are um, all Beatlemania alumni. That's amazing. <clears throat> See, what is amazing to me is that it started in the 70s, so that wasn't too long before the Beatles. I mean, you know, it wasn't like 30 years. Exactly. And it was just kind of after they dissolved. Mm -hmm. And that it's kept going all this time, so it's dragging all these new generations along with it. It's not just people that were Beatle fans that come to see you. Exactly, exactly. Well, because the music's great. You know, there are so many, so many fans that will come to the show and say, I didn't realize those were all Beatles songs. I've heard and loved those songs. I didn't know it was a Beatles song. How many songs do you do in the performance? You know, it changes occasionally. Um, so off the top of my head, I couldn't, uh, I wouldn't know off the top of my head. When you... I apologize. When you... <laughs> I should know that. I know you should. But I wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> Whatever you told me, I would believe. 27. That's great. <laughs> You know what I want to know, though? When you start going into a show that is about somebody else musically, do you listen to their music, and then do you play the exact same drum beats at the exact same time that they do? Is everything identical? Exactly. The, the point is for people to experience what um, they, they hear on the records now, CDs, you know, the, those, those recordings just get clearer and clearer and, and, and you know, they're very, it's very uh, easy to uh, identify the nuances of the original material these days. So we really, we identify with exactly those points. And have you ever met Ringo Starr? No, I never have. I've never met any of the Beatles. I think the closest person was being in Liverpool. We met a handful of their friends, people that knew the Beatles before they were famous. That Those were interesting. Pieces. I almost uh, don't want the the uh, the illusion shattered by uh, maybe meeting them. It would be it would be nice though. So you've been in the show how many years? Four years. Four years come March. Okay. What were you doing before then? Uh, local band, Hard Night's nice Day. Hard Night's nice Day here in this area. Mm -hmm. So how did you how did you get the gig in Rain? <clears throat> Long story. I uh, want to hear it. Nope. <laughs> I had a friend of mine that uh, we went to go see the show. Rain was always my favorite Beatle tribute act, and I had not seen them in years. A friend of mine invited me out to the show, and right across the stage walks a friend of mine as a guitar tech, and I thought, oh my goodness. So we called, uh, called him up from backstage and said, I didn't know you were doing this show. And he's like, you have to come backstage. They, they need a, a Ringo to add to the, uh, to the cast. And so I auditioned the next day, and they hired me. It was happenstance. Totally Do you think accidental. it was happenstance or totally. planned? I could have planned it, Do but I don't think it was it would have come out that divinely way. planned. No, you no. don't. You just think it was a coincidence. Yeah, I think it was coincidence. Okay, well, we'll have to talk about that. Synchronicity. Synchronicity. Synch and, and Good work. So you, you think that's a coincidence too, or they, look, it's obvious that you were meant to get the job. I, be I believe that as well. Okay, I think so. <laughs> All right, performances are November twenty third, November twenty fourth. What time? Matinee. Matinee and evening. They, they, they shift, so I'm going to guess 2 and 7.30, something like that. That's usually pretty typical. When you, you have to check the website. When you come back home, and this is kind of home to you, mm -hmm. where you've been most of your life, do you get together with all your band group, and all, do, you, do you all hang out again? or? Sometimes I still play with them when I'm, when I'm home. So, yeah, they're still family to me. So How I long will you them. run with Rain? Uh, as far as the tour uh -huh. goes? Uh, this tour ends in Dallas, and it doesn't pick up again until just after the first of the year. And will you be back with it? I'm, su I'm sure they'll put me in the rotation. You know, there's three cast members that uh, rotate in and out of the show. Oh, there each. are? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that would have to be. Are there multiple shows running across the country? Uh, that has happened, but that's, that's not a typical scenario. So uh, basically, we're all there to uh, you know, have each other's back. We rotate in the show, give people a rest, come back out. Do you have any family? Mm-hmm. 
Are your mom and dad still here? Yes. Good. Yes. My dad's going to see this. Oh. Hey, guys. <laughs> there are four performances of Rain, tribute to the Beatles, coming up at the Music Hall at Fair Park. They're this Saturday and Sunday at 1.30 and 7.30. Tickets are still available, and you can get those by going to thebroadcasttv.com and click on today's links. Thank you so much, Doug, for coming in. Oh, thank you. And welcome back to Dallas. Yes. Home. When we're back, we'll be live at the Gaylord Texan Resort and Convention Center in Grapevine for one of the most incredible displays in ice that you'll ever see. Go inside the ice exhibit when we come back.